Heidi ho my peeps! It's a beautiful Wednesday morning, I guess, yeah, Wednesday. And um, Mama's here, she's asleep in her room. Grant's over there geeking out on Facebook. And I'm thinking of you and wanting to um, show you something. Although it's a sad something. It's a dead craft walking is what it is. And it's, I've got it in this basket here. I was out in the, um, the room I've been painting looking for a big basket that I could put craft items in to leave out here on my light table because I've got a few projects that I, I want to sneak in here and there over the next few days. So I thought I'd collect them all in this gorgeous split wood, wood bottomed beautiful basket that I bought years and years ago. Um, gosh, this thing's just so pretty. I'm not real fond of baskets per se, um, but I like baskets that are really unusual and this one is. So, anyhow, what it has been containing all this time is something, like I said, extremely sad. And let me show you. Well, let me just do it like this. You see all that? You see all that luscious, beautiful, fibery porn? I made that. I made that primarily out of the fiber that came from my sheep or my alpaca. Some of it was made from mill end yarns that I uh, spun up together. Um, it's, I, I hand dyed all of this myself. I mean, you gotta just, you gotta just take a, take a second and look. Look at the luscious colors. Isn't that beautiful? Um, I worked, oh, and this incidentally is a, about, I would say about one twentieth or so by volume, one thirtieth maybe, of all that I had made. And a lot of it got, a lot of this yarn got knit up into hats that were sold either at craft shows or um, at my brother's store, because he has a surf shop over on the coast. Um, a lot of them were given away as a gift, um, but alas, much of the yarn that I made became moth infested. And once your yarn is moth infested, there's really not much it can do. Um, at least I don't trust it. They say that you can put it in the freezer for three weeks and that'll that'll kill the moths and their eggs, but not necessarily. So um, I use my freezers as storage for, for my woolens, not necessarily as an um, insecticide against moths, but um, what I generally do is throw, throw the yarn away. And this yarn will was slated to be thrown away, but then I remembered something. I remembered that you can, I saw a craft on I'm going to just pull one of these out. How about this one? I saw a craft on YouTube where you take yarn, bits of yarn, and stuff that's, I mean, the, the bulkier and more interesting the yarn, the better. You wrap it around little pieces of tubing, and that gets, you mod podge it to the tubing, then you can wrap beads and wire or, you know, metallic string or something and you just keep wrapping and you make these big thick uh, sort of multi multimedia beads and then what you do is you take a an eye um, a piece of wire that's got an eye on the bottom of it I can't remember what that's called you stick a bead cap on that you put your bead on it another bead cap you flip it over and now you've got a linking bead you could also do it with if you just want a bead that would just hang so you can link them together and make bracelets and necklaces or you can have them hang like as charms um, it, they're really beautiful and if I can um, find a tutorial I will link it in the description bar below. But I just thought that this, all of this stuff, like this, I mean, you can see the, I mean, I can see the, all the places it's been chewed by moths. It's just been chewed to hell. Um, oh, and look at this color way. I mean, this, this is just, I mean, this is, this is my color way right there. Isn't that gorgeous? 
just as beautiful as it can be and just as moth-eaten. Although I don't think this one's moth-eaten. Oh my gosh, this one isn't moth-eaten. Isn't that interesting? Well, maybe I'll make something out of that one. But most of these are infested. And they've been um, sitting around for a long, long time. So um, they're about as infested as they're going to be. But I've, I just thought that would be really neat. So that's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I will make something out of this. I will crochet something out of this. And uh, I don't know what. Do something with it. But the rest of it is going to be made into beads, or at least part of it. I probably won't have... I mean, there's a lot of yarn there, so, you know. What else is this? Is that a moth? No. So anyway, I just wanted to show you my dead craft walking. And caution anybody who wants to get into natural fiber um, crafting, particularly if you want to learn to spin or, or um, you know, make your own fibers. Uh, or your own yarns from natural fibers, particularly animal fibers like wool or alpaca or whatever. Um, protect that. Protect it from the moths. And the best way to protect it, I found, is the freezer. If you, if you keep your, um, your fibers in the freezer, they will... They will the moth process isn't going to start. Um, you can also use... Put them in... Um, bags with diatomaceous earth and or mothballs but that's kind of a mess because the you can't the diatomaceous earth has to be you know in and around all the fibers which makes this big cloudy awful mess it has to be washed out later it's just kind of nasty um, I, I have tried stuff like citron lavender um, all of that sort of natural stuff the moths just flock to it like I've added a little extra garnish to their dinner so that doesn't seem to work for me either so those are my um, attempts to keep the moths away from my stuff I wasn't doing that back when I made all this shine this was some of the first yarn I made I don't know maybe four years ago and I hadn't really I didn't really realize how bad the moth situation was going to be so any of you who do natural fiber arts, if you have a better solution for keeping your items moth-free from shearing to storing your finished product, please tell me because I, I, I've tried a lot of the stuff that, the natural stuff that doesn't seem to work. So if you know something that's natural that does work, please let me know. So anyhow, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I am... I am feeling back in the saddle again. Um, I had a few rocky days, um, as you saw from all the sugar that I ate, but I'm feeling pretty good today. I started my day with a protein shake and I am going to go start painting the crap out of that room. So I will see you guys later. Bye. -bye.